In Iraq, where American troops left more than two years ago, insurgents are making a comeback this morning. The country's second largest city, Mosul, is under control of militants. Ali Williams is in Istanbul, Turkey, with the extremist group that's even being condemned by al-Qaeda. Ali, good morning. Good morning. Americans fought and died in the struggle for control of Mosul, but now the city has fallen to Islamic extremists. Another disaster for Iraq's government, which continues to lose its grip on power across entire swathes of the country. Islamic extremists overran Mosul, easily overpowering government forces despite their U.S.-supplied weaponry. Some Iraqi soldiers reportedly dropped their guns and ran. The militants already controlled parts of the surrounding province, where these propaganda videos show them using roadside bombs. Mosul is crucial to Iraq's oil industry, and Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki called for a state of emergency. Some reports say half a million people have already fled the city. The militants belong to the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, or ISIS, which started out as an al-Qaeda affiliate. Just across the border, they're embroiled in Syria's bloody civil war, where they've carried out summary executions in the name of Islamic law. Even al-Qaeda has condemned ISIS for excessive violence. The group's fighters come from across the Middle East, and also include hundreds of European Muslims. Their goal is to establish an Islamic state. ISIS now controls territory straddling Syria and Iraq and is moving its fighters freely across the border. This stunning victory in Mosul is more evidence that the chaos of Syria's civil war has helped to breed a new generation of Islamic extremists. Nora. Holly, thank you.